Morning, Randy. Morning, Sheriff. What'd you find? I found that the chain on the gate had been cut and that the door had been jimmied open to the well house. I went in and checked my well to see if anything was wrong, but it needs to be looked at more carefully. So when you pulled up this morning, did you notice any unusual vehicles or tracks? Uh, no, sir. All right, but you did indicate that the well house had been opened? Yes, it had been. Okay. And so what areas have you touched? I've touched the doorknob. Just touched the doorknob is the only thing I've touched. All right. We'll go ahead and investigate this further then. Okay. This is a good example of how to handle a situation where there seems to be a break-in at a water supply system. The officers were notified by the water utility operator of a security breach and at a water system. After sizing up the situation, they made sure the utility contacted the local health department and the Nebraska Health and Human Services system. Tampering with a water supply system is a federal offense, and therefore the officer had to make a judgment on intent and if necessary, call the local FBI office. The officer took control of the situation and preserved the crime scene. Local drinking water systems may be targets for terrorists and other criminals wishing to disrupt and cause harm to the community water supply. Water supply facilities provide critical public health and fire protection functions. Drinking water systems cover large areas and are often located in isolated areas, contain components that are often difficult to secure, and often contain hazardous chemicals used in treatment processes. For these reasons, it's very important officers include water supply facilities on their daily patrols and know how to respond to malicious events at water supply facilities. Examples of suspicious and or illegal activities. Strangers hanging around locks or gates. People on top of water tanks. Unidentified vehicles near utilities. People dumping material into a reservoir people climbing or cutting a utility fence, suspicious opening of manhole covers, fire hydrants, buildings, or equipment, people photographing utility facilities, structures, or equipment. The critical points of a water supply system are the well house, treatment facilities, water store facilities, and the distribution system. The distribution system includes pipes, valves, hydrants, and meters. Any individual not associated with the water utility found tampering with water supply facilities should be considered suspicious. Regular surveillance of water systems by law enforcement is important to ensure the safety of our community's drinking water. Located within a well house are the well and the pump itself. This is the source of our water in a groundwater system. Often the well pump is located underground and is not visible in the well house. The most common treatment process housed in a well house or separate treatment plant is disinfection. The most common chemical used for disinfection is chlorine. Chlorine is added to water in a variety of forms, solid, liquid, and gas. Chlorine is an extremely hazardous substance. Chlorine gas is especially dangerous and could have a detrimental effect on populations if released in the air. Other common chemicals that may be found in a well house or treatment plant are fluoride and phosphates. Water is stored in various structures, including ground storage tanks, water towers, and pressure tanks. Water storage facilities have hatch openings, allowing personnel to enter the structure for cleaning and maintenance. The cooperation of local law enforcement and Department of Health and Human Services is essential in providing maximum protection of water treatment facilities, ensuring the safety of all communities. This has been an introduction to security and emergency response at drinking water supply facilities. Take the time to establish contact with drinking water supplies in your area and become familiar with their facilities and emergency response plans.